What up, best moments to downtown Raymond? You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Orlando for Tuesday, September 19th, 2023, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Raymond. That's R E Y M E L O on Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Organizers have announced the dates for the 2024 Tribeca Festival. The 23rd annual event will take place June 15th to the 16th, 2024, in New York City. Tribeca Festival showcases creative innovations across film, TV, immersive, game, auto story te- uh, storytelling talks and more uh, festival ceo and co-founder jane rosenthal said in a statement we're proud to be the launching pad for the next generation of artists the 23rd tribeca festival will be a groundbreaking cultural event that shifts how audiences receive and react to entertainment submissions are now open in all programming categories including features nows shorts games immersive audio storytelling and tribeca x Tribeca Festival was founded in 2001 and is presented by OKX. This year's festival featured over 550 events and drew more than 130,000 participants. The highlights include the world premieres of Cypher and A Strange Path. Disney Plus is giving a behind-the-scenes look at Loki Season 2. The streaming service shared a featurette for the season Monday, featuring cast members Tom Hiddleston, Sofia Martino, and executive producer Kevin R. Wright. Loki is based on the Marvel Comics character of the same name. The series takes place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and follows an alternative version of Loki, played by Hiddleston, the god of mischief. The featurette, titled Amazing Loki, shows Martino tees huge stakes in Season 2. The actress plays Sylvie on the show. She says everything has stepped up a gear. In addition, new cast member Kei Hyo Kwan uh, from Everything Everywhere All at Once is shown as, as his character OB, a TVA tech expert and repair guy. Season 2 is about Loki understanding himself, according to Hiddleston. Wright says Loki has always been a villain. What we want to explore is also Loki finding what her- heroicism really looks like. Hiddleston adds he found a new family. There is a new capacity to make connections. He realized that those connections are all that matter in the end. Owen Wilson, Gugu Mabatha Ra, Wanumi Masuko, Eugene Cordero, and Jonathan Majors also star. Loki, season two, premieres October 5th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Disney+. Plus. The season picks up after the aftermath of the season one finale, where Loki finds himself in a battle for the soul of the Time Variance Authority. The official synopsis reads, along with Mobius, Hunter B-15, and a team of new and returning characters, Logan navigates an ever-expanding and increasingly dangerous multiverse in search of Sylvie. Judge Rand Slayer, Miss Minutes, and the truth of what it means to possess free will and glorious purpose. Disney Plus released a trailer for Season 2 in July that shows Loki's struggle with time slip. A24 is teasing the new film Dream Scenario. The studio shared a trailer for the comedy Tuesday featuring Nicolas Cage. Dream Scenario is written and directed by Christopher Bergelli with Ari Aster as producer. The film follows Paul Matthews, played by Cage, a professor and remarkably nobody who goes viral after he begins to appear in people's dreams. Julianne Nicholson, Michael Cera, Tim Meadows, Dylan Gilula, and Dylan Baker also star. Dream Scenario will have its world premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival earlier this month. The uh, TIFF director of programming, Robin Citizen, previously said, The surrealist satire comedy has sharp, timely observations about social media culture, especially going viral, and its impact on the way that we interact with others in our day-to-day lives. Uh, Cage delivers some of his finest work. The film will open in selected theaters November 10th, with the wide release scheduled for November 22nd. Nickelodeon is giving a glimpse of the new film A Really Haunted Loud House. The network shared a trailer for the movie Tuesday featuring Wolfgang Schaefer. A Really Haunted Loud House features the cast of the Nickelodeon series The Real Loud House and a live animated spinoff of the animated series The Loud House. 
Franchise follows Lincoln Loud, played by Schaefer, a 12-year-old boy with 10 sisters. The cast also includes Jahir Bruno as Lincoln's best friend, Clyde McBride, Jolie Jenkins and Brian uh, Steppank as Lincoln's parents, Eva Carlton, uh, Sophie Woodward, Catherine Braley, Annika Fournierette, Alvin Bradley, Lexi Janik, Ella Allen, Mia Allen, Lexi DiBedenonetto, and August Michael Peterson as Lincoln's sisters. The official synopsis reads, A really haunted loud house. Lincoln Loud, played by Schaefer, and his best friend, Clay, played by Bruno, spike or skip the, the Lau family's Halloween spooketeer to attend over the top party hosted by the new kid at school. Xander leaving his sisters to plan the annual event in Grandos neighborhood performance while dad fights his own demons and avoids being captured by teenage werewolves. When Xander and his mob of followers decide to play tricks and attack the loud house, Lincoln and his sisters Clyde Let's work together to save Halloween, um, leading to an epic standoff in the town's dunker. The film is directed and executive produced by Jonathan Judge, who also directed the film A Loud House Christmas. A Really Haunted Loud House will premiere September 28th on Paramount Plus and premiere at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Nickelodeon. The Real Loud House Season 2 will premiere on Nickelodeon in early 2024, with um, Season 1 to become available streaming on platform around the world. Disney Plus is introducing a new series, Percy Jackson, The Olympians. The streaming service shared a teaser trailer for the show Tuesday uh, featuring Walker Scobell. Percy Jackson, The Olympians is based on the Rick Rodarian fantasy book series. The show follows um, the following shows Percy Jackson, played by Scoble, a 12-year-old boy who learns he is a demigod of Poseidon. The show shows Percy and his best friend Grover um, Underwood, played by Arian Schmihardi, arrive at ha- Camp Half-Blood, where they befriend Annabeth Chase, played by Leah Seva Jeffries. Percy is just coming to terms with his newfound supernatural powers when the sky god Zeus accuses him of stealing his master light. Now Percy must trek across America to find it and restore order to Olympus. The cast also includes Virginia Cole, Guy Terman, Jason Menetanactis, Megan Maloney, Toby Stevens, and the late actor Lance Reddick. Redorian's books were previously adapted as the films Percy Jackson, The Olympians, The Lightning Thief in 2010, and Sea of Monsters starring Logan Lerman and Alexandria Daddario. The worker, um, the author who worked with Percy Jackson, showrunners Joel Steinberg and Dan Shorts on the Disney Plus adaptation. Percy Jackson, The Olympians will have a two episode premiere December 20th on Disney Plus. Showtime is giving a glimpse of the new series, Fellow Travelers. The network shared a sneak peek of the historical drama and political thriller Tuesday featuring Matt Balmer and Jonathan Bailey. Fellow Travelers is based on the Thomas Malone novel of the same name. The show follows the romance between Hawkins Fuller, played by Balmer, and Tim Lawton, played by Bailey, two men who first meet in the McCarthy era Washington. The teaser features footage of Hawkins and Tim getting close as they discuss political happenings. The official synopsis reads, Hawkins avoid emotional entanglements until he meets Tim Laughlin, a young man brimming with idealism and religious faith. They begin a romance just as Roy, Joseph McCarthy and Roy Cohn declare war on subversives and sexual deviants. The um, and Roy Cohn declare war on subversive and sexual deviants in a shade one of the darkest periods of the 20th century American history. Um, over the course of four decades, we follow our five main characters, Hawk, Tim, Marcus, played by Jelani Aladdin, Lucy, played by Allison Williams, and Frankie, played by Noah Ricketts, as they uh, cross through the Vietnam War and protest the, fuel, the, drug, the drug-fueled disco hedonism of the 1970s and the AIDS crisis in the 1980s, while facing obstacles in the world and of themselves. Fellow tra- Travelers is created by Ron 
Nay Swiner, who also executive produced with Bomber, Daniel Minhan, and Robbie Rogers. The series premieres October 27 at um, on Showtime. Bomber is known for starring on White Collar, the American Horror Story series, while Bailey plays Anthony Bridgerton on Bridgerton. Elemental has broken records following its debut on Disney+. Plus. Disney said in a press release Monday that the animated Disney Pixar film is the most-watched movie premiere on Disney Plus in 2023. Elemental was released on September 13th on Disney Plus and drew 26.4 million views in its first five days of streaming. The film has the most video animated movies premieres since um, since turning turning red. In addition, the film is almost Disney Plus's top 10 movie premieres of all time. Elemental is written by Josh Hulberg, Kate Lakell, and Brendan Chu, and directed by Peter Shaw. The film takes place in Elemental um, Elemental cities where fire, water, earth, and air reside. Li- residents live together. Uh, the official synopsis reads: The story follows the quick-witted and fiery Ember, played by Leah Lewis, whose friendship with the sappy go with the flow Wade, played by Mahmoud Adu Athi, challenges not only not only their her beliefs about the world they live in, but the person she wants to be. Uh, Elemental opens in theaters in June and has earned $484 million at the worldwide box office. In other Disney Plus news, The Little Mermaid, live-action musical starring Haley Bailey, had the most viewed Disney movie premieres on Disney Plus since since, uh, Hocus Pocus in 2022. NBC released a trailer for Quantum Leap Season 2 on Monday. The series returns October 4th at 8 p.m., moving to Wednesdays after Season 1 and aired Mondays at 10. Raymond Lee plays Dr. Ben Song, a time traveler leaping into different bodies in different times. Season 2 showcases Egypt 1961, 1992's L.A. Riots at the beginning of the Ronnie King trials, 1949's Area 51, the future of 20... uh, the future of uh, uh, Ronnie King riots, uh, the 1949 Area 51, the future of 20,250, and the Salem Witch Trials in 1692. Ben can leap into either men or women of different times. As he previously announced the additions of Eliza Taylor and Peter Gada for the regular class. The trailer shows Ben and Hannah, played by Taylor, uh, telling Hannah, he's a triumph traveler from f- from the future. Hutton agrees with with uh, with this new rather than skepticism. Um, Hannah greets the news with curiosity. Quantum Leap began filming season two prior to the Screen Actors Guild and the American Federation of Radio and Television Arts. They have completed the at least eight episodes with the Egypt episode airing December 6th. USA Network and Sci-Fi are giving a glimpse of Chucky Season 3. The network shared a trailer for the season Monday featuring Zachary Arthur, Borjing Aronanson, and um, of Aaliyah Alien Lynn. Child's Play, uh, Chucky, the horror series based on Child's Play movies, is sequel to 2017's film Cut of... Of that. Um, the show follows the titular Chucky, play, voiced by Brad Dureff, a serial killer whose soul was transferred into a doll. Season 3 will see Chucky head to the White House where he infiltrates the first family. Devin Sawa plays the president, while Arthur plays um, uh, Arneson, and Lynn return as Jake, Devin, and Lexi. Three teens determined to stop Chucky. Trailer give a, gave a glimpse of Saturday Night Live's Sarah Silverman and Kenan Thompson, who will have cameos in the new season.
YouTube cut off actor Russell Brand's revenue from ads displayed on his channel Tuesday after his profile allegations of rape and sexual assault. Brand owned multiple cable channels on the platform with over 6 million subscribers to his main outlet. Several prominent British uh, publications, including The Times last week weekend, uh, stated that Brand abused women in Britain and the U.S. at the height of his career. Accusations include raping a woman uh, with whom he previously had consexual relations and grooming a 16-year-old girl. Brand strongly denies the allegations in a video statement, saying all of his relationships have been consensual. Ed Sheeran is the latest artist to have a music collaboration with Fortnite. iHeartMedia announced a special Ed Sheeran immersive experience, a music experiment experience featuring performances by Sheeran in a press release Tuesday. A special Ed Sheeran immersive experience will be available October 5th to the 9th at iHeartLand's State Farm Park in Fortnite. The event will allow players and fans to experience Sheeran's music in a brand new way while they drop uh, into... Um, I Heart Land and find themselves navigating worlds that have been inspired by Sheeran's songs. The world ranges from, quote, a metropolitan city at night, a box ring in a desolate city during sunset, a high speed boat crushing through a rich oil ecosystem, and a luscious forest setting. The Ed Sheeran experience was designed using Epic Games Unreal Editor for Fortnite. It's inspired by the song Sheeran performed for I Heart Radio to celebrate. His albums. The Ed Sheeran experience was designed for using Epic Games' Unreal editor for Fortnite, and is inspired by the song Sheeran performed for his iHeart to celebrate his album Subtract and Autumn Variations. The set list includes Eyes Closed, Shape of You, Boat, and Life Goes On. iHeart Media Chief Programming Officer Tom Pullman says, Ed Sheeran is one of today's biggest superstars and is known for creating unique music experiences that captivates his audience. We knew he was the perfect artist to feature for our first immersive experience, built in partnership with Epic Games. We want to continue to push boundaries of tech and innovation for music and gaming fans, allowing them to go deeper into the songs, the lyrics and meaning behind the music in ways that are native to the Fortnite environment. We're sure Fortnite plays will, players will love this immersive uh, experience in iHeartland's State Farm Park. iHeart Media's iHeartland first launched in Fortnite in August 2022. Sharon will release his album Autumn Variations on September 29th. The Latin Recording Academy has announced the nominations for the 2023 Latin Grammy Awards. Mexican-American songwriter, producer, and musician Edgar Barreta leads the, this year's nominees with 13, including Songwriter of the Year and Producer of the Year. Colombian artists Carol G., Shakira, and Camilo, and songwriters Keith um, follow seven nominations each. Uh, Carol and Camilo will compete for Album of the Year, along with Pablo Alboran, uh, Paola Arenas, Andres Cepeda, Juanes, Natalia Laforcade, Ricky Martin, Fito Paez, and Carlos Vives. Argentinian record producer Biz Rap is up for six awards. Other nominees include Christina Aguilera, Rosalia, Natalia Laforcade, Maluma, and Mark Anthony, all of whom are nominated for Record of the Year. The 42nd Annual Latin Grammys will take place November 16th in Sevilla, Spain. Ariana Grande and her estranged husband Dalton Gomez have both filed for divorce. Grande, the singer and actress, filed for divorce Monday with Gomez, a real estate agent, immediately following suit by filing his response, according to TMZ. Grande cited irreconcilable differences for the split and listed their date as separation as February 20th. Grande and Gomez married in May 2021. Entertainment Tonight confirmed the divorce filing. News of Grande and Gomez's split broke in July. People said Monday that the pair took time together to slowly work through the details of the of the divorce agreement privately. They have been really caring and respectful of one another through every step of the of the process. Um, uh, source says. They have been really caring and respectful of one another. 
through every step of this process. Uh, Grande was linked to her Wicked co-star Ethan Slater in July, shortly after news of her split with Gomez. Slater filed for divorce from his wife and high school sweetheart Lily J. later that month. Slater and Jay married in 2018 and have a son, born in 2022. Grande and Slater played Galinda and Book in Wick, a new film based on the Broadway musical and Gregory Maguire novel. And finally, sophisticated AI-powered humanoid robots will greet visitors to the Spear, the new concert venue at the Venetian Resort on the Las Vegas Strip. Five R of spokes bots hailed in press release Tuesday as the world's most advanced humanoid robot will communicate with guests, answering queries which, with human-like facial expressions and mobility. MSG Venture CEO David Dibble told USA Today the spokesbots will not only move in familiar ways, but will able to recognize the home, the rec- recognize humans, which he found stunning. Dibble says some people may find it creepy, but everyone will find it fascinating. Aurora see you, and as you move around, she follows you, she tracks you, she interacts with you. Aurora is uh, using artificial intelligence to learn and grow via communicating with humans. Aurora said in the press release, Hello humans, while I understand the most complex concepts of math and science, you remain a mystery. The 17,500 seat Spear opened in September 19th with the 17th show residency by U2, marking the band's first live performance in four years. The building, taller than the Statue of Liberty, is covered by massive screens that makes for surreal daily entertainment for Vegas criminals. The spokesbox will be more than novelties. It will be able to answer complex questions about the golden... about the golden... Um, Uh, they'll be able to answer complex questions about the groundbreaking engineering layers of costume design technology and the creation, uh, the creative mission at the core of venues, in addition to providing directions and additional information on performances. Aura will also function as a brand ambassador for Spear with its image on various digital platforms and all over social media. And as you entertain a report for Tuesday, September 19th, 2023, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R E Y M E L O on Twitter at the enter report or on Instagram at the entertainment report. You listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for the Entertainment Report and it'll take you to the page. Good night and God bless you all.